So I've just received my OBD1 read device and uh, I'm going to connect it to this car to the Starlet EP91 from 1997. However, it looks like this plug here is, uh, is jumper. Seems to be W A W B on the on the cord here, and uh, this cord here seems to be going there. So I just have to make sure that I'm gonna have to remove this jumper here. Connecting the, the Bluetooth. I'm enabling Bluetooth there. Got a blue one, dot there. And I have downloaded the Toy OBD1 application. And the OBD1 device is connected. You can see it by the engine light pointing. Now I have to connect the the device with my phone I go to Bluetooth and we have o OBD1 red device there so I'm trying to connect it it will be the code 1234 it says in Sweden if you want to pair connect it with ODB1 read and uh, oh, sorry I have connect I within the one two three four pushing ready and uh okay let's see if this works so now I'm gonna start the application choose Bluetooth device and ODB one read is there since I have pair connected before so I choose that one and yes now I have to enter the the engine speculation this is a Toyota Starlet EFFE so I write Starlet there and then I choose the engine for EFE and uh, that's it If you're an expert, you might want to change some of this, but I leave it standard. Number of injectors, size of injectors in CC and miles per gallon calculation and so on. You can set the alarm for uh, engine coolant temperature. Now it's at 100 degrees. And if uh, the coolant goes hotter, it will sound an alarm. Very handy. You can also set the number of gears, five gears. This is just for the logging to remember which gear is is in. Now I choose device features and start stop logging. And uh, then I will try to start the engine. And we immediately got some results here. I won't take it for a spin, but I've tried it before and uh, it does seem to work. So, this is the uh, engine coolant temperature 14 degrees. As you can see, we're in Sweden, the snow is here, and uh, it's pretty cold outside. So, 14 degrees. Pretty okay. I just put the uh, the engine heater on electric wise. As you can see now, the uh, 
the flashing engine light has stopped blinking when I started it and uh, the RPM is settling down the miles per gallon won't probably start until I drive it earlier I used the standard uh, feature and uh, it was a bit high but now I have put the uh, shoes on the engine so I think it will be better engine called OX feedback inactive ignition 16 degrees EAC 54% WAF 34.15 TPS is the throttle position see if we can get it to move No, problem not until we get this first gear in in, uh, in the box. Next time we start, now I don't have the uh, ignition and I choose the device feature, start stop logging. It doesn't find it, Toyota OBD1 connecting, but of course it doesn't found, find it until I have put it in ignition. Now it's coming right on. So uh, if I turn it off, it just stops recording. Now it's off. And see if we can find some other you can choose some other dials if you want to. You can choose another background, white, white or black. You can manage data, import data, export data, the logging, erase whole pack database, and uh, display configuration. You can choose which one you want to see on the display. You can choose use graph cell and uh, well connecting unable to connect the device. Why is that? Hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't. I hadn't put it in blinking. I just had the first the first uh, ignition ACC here is the graph cell I'll start it up again and uh, we have some curves showing what's happening that's pretty nice little gadget, this toy UBD one. Uh, thank you, Jan Francois Breton, for doing this device. Seems to be working like it should, even though I'm a beginner at this.